In the 1950s, scientists started bombarding plants with radiation with the goal of encouraging beneficial mutations. And not only did it work, we still grow and consume a variety of plants that were developed this way. Atomic gardening became quite popular in the 1950s during Eisenhower's Atoms for Peace campaign, and it basically went like this. You set up a circular garden on about five acres with a retractable radiation source in the center and shoot gamma rays at the plants for around 20 hours. Then you retract the radiation source and enter the garden in protective gear because, yeah, and you look for the plants that looked relatively normal. These would almost always be near to the outer edge since the ones in the middle would likely wilt and die pretty quickly. Then you take the ones that look desirable and you do it all over again. If we liken genetic modification to using a scalpel to sculpt, atomic gardening was like firing buckshot and hoping the holes produce some desirable characteristics. So what do we have to thank atomic gardens for? Probably more than you'd expect. Things like that peppermint taste in your toothpaste, over 70% of the grapefruit from Texas, over 85% of rice grown in California, certain varieties of chickpeas, ornamental plants, peanuts, wheat, barley, and on and on. Isn't this a fascinating time to be alive?